Hey guys, this is Adrian in from Modio. Today we're just going to do a quick walkthrough and get you set up using this new iPhone Element 3D model that we just released and make sure that you can create some wicked awesome stuff of your own. Not saying that this is awesome, but it's kind of awesome. So if you've downloaded the file, you extract it, you're going to get this folder like this. Now to get it where it needs to go, we're going to want to install it into the presets of Element 3D. So go to your users folder in documents, video copilot, and in the models folder, you can drag it pretty much anywhere or create a folder, organize it, tidy it, whatever you got to do, just put it in that folder somewhere. And just for reference, go ahead and take out this iPhone screen.png because we will be using that later to change out the screen content. So go ahead and copy that file, just paste it somewhere you can use it and uh, we'll access that later. So drag it in, okay, ready to go. Back to After Effects. I'm gonna start over, create a new composition, set up my Element 3D layer. Now how about this? Every time I say iPhone, I have to do 25 push-ups just for kicks. Now that would, that would suck. I'm gonna change my mind, okay. We're in Element 3D, here we go. Now go to whatever folder you placed the iPhone in, click on the folder, and here right away you'll notice we have two different layers, and that's, uh, that's kind of confusing. We had to do some finagling to get this to work. And on each layer, you're only allowed to use one set of texture mapping options, so in short, we needed to use two different ones to get the images to apply correctly, so we have two layers. Um, it's not a big deal, they will join together once we get out of Element, when we're done, so don't worry, it's gonna be great. So we got our front, we got our back. Now the only thing you gotta do is switch one of the layers to a different grouping number. So we'll just switch this off and click number two, and we're ready to go. And wham boozle, there's our iPhone. I'm gonna create a camera real quick, prove to you it's 3D. And like pure magic, there we go. 3D iPhone, okay. Now to change the screen, it's fairly simple. So import that screenshot I told you to save earlier and we'll create a new composition with that. And this is gonna give us the correct resolution and put whatever content you want in there. Now in your element settings, Twirl down custom layers, custom texture maps, and select, oh, we need to import the comp first. So import the composition we just created. Turn it off. And in the element settings, under custom texture maps, go ahead and select iPhone screen. Back into scene setup. Now click on the iPhone front layer, twirl down the materials, and on the screen, we need to edit the diffuse layer. And we're just gonna select custom layer one. And there we go, auto update. Things are looking sharp. And now, the beauty of this, you can animate your phone, do all sorts of wacky stuff, and animate all the stuff inside the screen in a different composition, which is very helpful. And there you go. Well guys, I hope that helped you get started. Best of luck, and I hope to see some crazy awesome iPhone animations. And uh, keep checking back. We're going to be releasing new Element 3D models and tutorials and content in the future for all sorts of After Effects stuff. So keep checking back. Be our friends. Add us on Facebook and all that fancy stuff, and uh, we'll do the same. Well, this is Adrian signing out from Modio. Until next time.